All right, everybody out there, how are you? Uh, just wanted to make a quick video here. I'm gonna try to break these down into shorter videos um, to help you guys out and let you know what I'm doing in my rocket basement. Um, this is the total, total annihilation. I'll actually show you a pic here in a second. That's when it was brand new. This thing's been flying on and off since the late 90s and uh, needs a lot of repair. Mostly cosmetic. So I'm gonna be ordering a new tube for the upper tube to get that fixed because I got a lot of chip marks and everything. Um, but I, I initially repaired this without filling uh, spirals. I know everybody has their way of filling spirals, right? Their favorite way. Uh, some people don't fill spirals at all because it is a pain. But phenolic tubing have pretty deep um, spiral marks in their cardboard. So I uh, just want to show you what I'm doing here. And I'm going to walk you through maybe 10, 15 minute videos uh, in the total repair and repaint of the total annihilation. So uh, let me let me give you an idea here. First of all, one of the two I use is a um, Bondo. Um, this is for cars fixing um, dents and dings in a car. And there's the actual paste, and then there's a hardener. And um, this this stuff you got to work with really quick because it gets hard very fast. Um, and then. A lot of people like to use wood filler. In fact, that's my second half down here. You can see this is a little bit different color because I was using this and I switched the wood filler. The wood filler is nicer only because, well, a couple of reasons. One, it spreads nice. Um, I don't have to keep mixing small amounts, which takes a lot of time. And uh, it doesn't smell. This stuff could kill you. Uh, whenever I use it, I ventilate my basement with a fan because the smell on this stuff is really strong. So it works great. I filled a lot of tubes with this. Uh, if anybody know me, my um, my AMRAM that I put together was also with phenolic. I rebuilt this AMRAM. Now it has a fiberglass wrap on it, but initially I filled all the spirals with this stuff and it worked really good. So. Um, that's what I got. So let me show you a little bit of how we do this. And it, work, it works pretty good. All right. So we have our Elmer's wood filler. And, you know, one thing everybody, all Rocketeers hate is sanding. Um, so we try to use as little as possible, just enough to get into the spiral here. And I'm just going to put... Spread it the best way I can, just putting it on with the stick. And, you know, it might help if you have your rocket set up so that you can spin it because it goes a lot faster. You can see I can rotate this and just keep it going here. And we want to move pretty quick again because this stuff, even this stuff dries pretty fast, right? So we can get this spun around here like this and we just keep placing it on and once we run off the stick here so what i love to use and this is a tip from other people too these are just not all my ideas but i thought i would pass it on to you but you can see how much stuff is left here if we we leave that on we're going to be sanding into uh next year so Razor blade. Great way is a, a little mini spackle knife. And if you could see this, I think my hand's in the way, but once I come down here, you see how nice that goes? And you just keep rotating the rocket and it fills that spiral really nice and smooth. Keep these, um, Razor blade tilted at a nice angle and just keep turning the rocket. And then when you run out a little bit, just spread it again, right? Take your stick, take it off of here, because this gives us a little bit more work time than the Bondo body filler. So you can see as we go, 
how much fire we're actually covering with just that little dab that I put on and then we took a lot off with the with the uh, razor blade all right so we're gonna keep rotating here and get more put in there and once we have that spread again we'll come back and we're gonna make sure we don't miss any spots so we're gonna pick up a little extra here and put it on the top and then again we're gonna rotate pushing very hard on the razor blade and you can see what a nice fill that that gives us and anything you miss you can go back over just like a spackle blade and you just got to continue doing that um, right down the entire rocket continue on and put a little bit at a time on There's plenty of time to work I would keep the cover on this though if you have a long delay because it gets it does get hard and it gets harder to work with but again the, uh, the razor blade again and just continue rotating your rocket if you have it on a nice spin you can get these filled up in uh, in an hour or so I know there's a lot of spirals especially on these some of these Panala tubes they're uh, they're wrapped pretty tight and they have a, a smaller gap in between some of the uh, some of the spirals so there's a lot of work here so i'm going to keep these videos short like i said and i hope you enjoyed that one um i'll get back to you after i completed filling all the spirals and i'm going to do a lot of sanding and i'll show you what it looks like once it's sanded and then we're going to start getting into primer and um hope you follow this adventure to fixing the total annihilation so i'll see you on the next one and please do me a favor subscribe to the channel there's a lot of neat stuff to see on here and I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks.